move on to the hadith in more detail. The signs of a hypocrite are three. When he speaks, he lies. Yeah. Now, the foundation, the base of hypocrisy is lying. The first sign, the first foundation, the first uh, base of hypocrisy is a person. If it's a joke, I mean, even about the joke, the Prophet said you shouldn't, you shouldn't lie in your joke as well. Yeah? You asked a good question because what it means is that he says something to someone who believes him, whereas he's lying. So, someone that, okay, he takes you seriously, it's not a joke, but he really believes you, but in fact, you're lying, that's the foundation of hypocrisy. Or you say to your teacher, oh, I came to school at quarter to nine, but really you didn't, that's the foundation of hypocrisy, whereas you're showing two sides of yourself. Okay, so that's when he speaks, he lies. Number two, he breaks promise. Now there are two types of breaking promises. So the person that we consider a munafiq is that person who keeps a promise and at that same time he's keeping the promise, he has the intention of breaking it. Yeah? So I could say that, okay, uh, I promise Hassan that I'm going to give him something. But at the same time, while I, I say it to him, I know that I'm not going to give it to him. I'm keeping a promise with the intention of breaking it. He's considered a munafi. That's one. And he keeps a promise, but without a legitimate reason, he breaks it. That person will be also considered a munafi. Only the third type is that a person that keeps a reason and with a legitimate reason, that keeps a promise, but with a legitimate reason, he breaks it, then there's no, he won't be considered a munafi. So a legitimate reason would be he tried his best but something beyond his means. And the last one is When he is trusted, he betray the trust. Can you look after this, my bike, anything like this? You say yes but you betray the trust. How can you betray trust? You ride the bike. Yeah. All these things is betraying the trust of that person. He gave it to you, so do not betray the trust. Also what it means is betraying the trust of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah? Allah has given you trust of you have to pray salah, you have to look after yourself, look after the body yeah? and do not betray the trust of the Prophet the Prophet has given us a lot of commands you shouldn't betray that trust Okay. so what that's what it means by trust